Today, I have an exciting topic to talk about. How to use ChatGPT to create optimized content to help you and your website to rank at the top of the search engines. If you're looking to leverage the power of artificial intelligence to enhance your content creation and improve your website's visibility, you have come to the right place. What's up everyone? My name is Karen Valandia. I'm an online marketing and business strategist and a former Google Ads employee. I help entrepreneurs like you to drive real results to your business by using the amazing power of SEO, marketing, and sales online. We're gonna explore how GPT is gonna become your secret SEO weapon. And you want to stay until the end because I have an amazing surprise for you at the end of this video. All right, so let's dive in. Before we explore how ChatGPT could help you optimize your content, we need to actually understand what ChatGPT is all about, right? ChatGPT is an advanced language model developed by OpenAI. It is designed to generate human-like responses based on the prompts or questions it receives. By harnessing the power of ChatGPT, you can create engaging and optimized content that resonates with your audience and your dream clients, and of course, with the search engines. But hey, we're talking about using this tool to help us rank at the top of Google and other search engines, right? Before anything else, we need to understand the Google rewards, websites, and content Content created for the right audience. In order to know how Google recognized content on the right way and put it in front of the right people, we need to go to Sharpter 2. Keyword research and topic generation. One of the key steps in content creation is literally knowing what people are searching for. And we need to do that by conducting a right keyword research. With ChatGPT, you can input your target keywords or industry topics as prompts and let ChatGPT to do the rest of the content. And ChatGPT actually will give you the best content ideas for you. But how do you actually know what are the keywords that you need in order for you to rank at the top of Google with your blogs, with your content, with your website, with your funnels, with your social media content? This is actually one of my favorite topics to talk about SEO. I even created the full essentials SEO program to help you run your own keyword research as well as optimize your entire website for SEO like a pro, of course, from scratch. We have over 100 students now on the new program and I would love to have you there as well. If you want more information, I'm going to leave the link on the description below so you can join and if you have some questions, just put it in the comments. Here are the three elements that Google and other search engines such as Bing, Pinterest, the YouTube, even TikTok, take into the consideration to boost the content on their search engines. First, talking about relevance. Second, talking about authority. And third, talking about volume. I'm gonna give you my own words of definition, how I understand this process. The first one is for relevance. We need to make sure that we are giving the user what is actually asking in Google. That is the relevance about your topic, about your content. We need to give people what it needs and Google will reward you with that process because that content is gonna be relevant for whoever is looking for that specific service, product of information. Second one is authority. What we are looking for here is to have content that is so informational educational for people that puts you as the expert in that specific topic or industry. Google is recognizes is if your content, if your website, if your page, it's already recognized by other people for they most likely to go back to your website to look for more information or your social media profiles as well. Number three is volume. We are talking about volume, how many times our keywords are inside of our content and how we utilize those keywords, how many times more people are searching that specific volume of keywords, how, how many times is that keyword showing up inside of your content and how you utilize in the content to create a solutions for people. So let me give you a small summary here. While doing keyword research, you can analyze how relevant the content is for users, what experts authority your content has in the overall environment on the internet, and how many times those keywords are being searched. For keyword research, I use tools such as answerthepublic.com, 
Google Keyword Planner, SEMrush. I love this topic so much. I can talk about this for hours. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a video like that so I can create it for you to learn how to get that process done. You're probably asking yourself, why is she talking about SEO and keywords, but not so much about ChatGPT? Because the main strategy is to have keyword research done before we even go to ChatGPT to give the prompts to them. We literally just run a keyword research and ultimately add those keywords with a prompt on ChatGPT to give us the best and most optimized content. Well, now that we're talking about prompts here, let's move on to chapter three. Okay, now that we have our keywords ready, we are ready to crank up content like crazy. Here are three important aspects to look for when it comes to SEO boosting using ChatGPT as my most powerful tool. Talking about user experience is one, which means is that how is people actually getting your content? Are they using their phones? Are they using the desktop computer? Are they using an iPad? How they are getting to your content and how it is showing to those people. The second aspect is placement. How is that specific keyword, how is my content actually placed inside of my blog post or my content? If you are you doing a blog post or, or writing an article, we need those questions and those keywords on the first sentence of a paragraph, for instance, or in the middle of the sentence, or even on the hair that subtitle, or even inside of a graphic as well. You gotta be mindful where you are placing keywords, how you're creating the content, and where this content is actually placed. It could be inside of videos for social media, inside of YouTube for social media content. It could be on a Quora blog, ask me questions. It could be on your own page, on your own blog, on Pinterest to create infographics and visuals to get people to click on that because they search for that specific keyword. Third one is going to be, of course, a boosting optimized content using a AI or ChatGPT in this case to create that content. Amazing things about ChatGPT is that it provides you with fresh perspectives, unique angles, and related to topics that can make your content more comprehensive and appealing to search engines. Use ChatGPT as a creative tool. Don't use it just to copy and paste content because it doesn't work that way. Now that you have your keyword research and you are an expert on that specific topic, you need to use ChatGPT to your advantage to get a little more information, but at the same time, don't lose that experience for you as an expert and feel that relationship with your audience. Take it as an efficiency tool, not as a copy and paste tool. It actually helps me and my clients to crank up content fast without losing my own identity, without losing my messaging, without using my voice. I just have to guide ChatGPT to give me all that info based on my prompts. So here's my gift for you. If you are here, just put on the comments SEO so I know that you watch until this point of the video. It makes me really, really happy and I really appreciate you. I have put together my best chat GPT tools to boost the SEO content. These are actually the prompts that have helped me to crank up content really, really fast. And apparently a lot of people want these prompts. So I'm going to put the link in the description below. So go in there and click and you will be able to download it for free. I also have an entire suite of videos here on my YouTube channel that you can go watch about SEO, local SEO. And please turn your notifications bell on so you don't miss any future videos that I have for you. See you on the next video and happy optimizing. Thank <sighs> you.